Hey sis, it's me. Got my plane ticket. I will be getting in first thing Saturday morning. And I wish you would have just let me pay to ship your car up here, but uh Oh, maybe you're right. You know, maybe uh this drive is just what you need right now. I uh I saw that you deleted your Facebook account. I have no way of seeing that sweet face of yours. Raven, I know this is hard. I miss her too. Raven, hey, it's me. I'm so, so, so sorry, but there's been a change of plans. I got called to do ER duty this weekend, and there is absolutely no one else that can do it. It has to be me. I'm so sorry. So... My girlfriend Jessica, she's gonna fly down there and she's gonna make the drive with you, okay? Look, I know, I know, I know what you're gonna say, but please, please give her a chance, please, for me. Okay, I, I, I don't think that you should be doing this drive alone right now, okay? All right, I will see you soon. I love you, stay strong, okay? It's messed up, isn't it? Tragic, even. What? Relationships. I, mean, I feel like some of the best ones end before they even get a chance to get started. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? Not now. You're gonna make me lose it. We already packed the tissue. I'm just stating the obvious, okay? We were on the road to becoming the best roommates ever ever in the history of roommate gentlemen. I, I don't know, it's just sad, I guess. It makes me feel bad. I can't help feeling bad about it. No one should feel bad about anything. But thanks. I think you're pretty great, too. <laughs> I guess the saying is true. Blood is thicker than water. Margaritas. Mm. I am gonna miss our margaritas. I'm gonna miss you too.
Life's so random, isn't it? I mean, people meet, relationships start, and then just suddenly end. And bad shit happens out of the fucking blue. It's like life's some cosmic joke. I mean, I'm telling you, God has got to be a woman because only a real bitch would do that shit to people's lives. Thank you. My pleasure, young lady. You enjoy that 900 mile drive back to New York now. Y'all be careful going down the road. Oh, we will. Reagan? You must be Jessica. Hey, it's really nice to meet you. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Wow, you're so much prettier than Kyle said. Oh, gosh, uh, thanks. No, thank you. I mean, it's really nice of you to do this. It means a lot. Yeah, that's OK. I'm, it's no problem. I know, I'm a sorry substitute for your own brother, but everything was so last minute. No, not at all. I'm actually really glad that we're gonna get a chance to know each other. He's talked so much about you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, there she is. She's all gassed up, packed up, ready to go. Oh, okay. Um, do you actually mind if we go inside for a minute? I was actually thinking we would just hit the road, you know? I want to beat the traffic. Of, of course. It was just sort of a, a long flight. I, I, I would, but the house is already locked up and my only set of keys is in the kitchen for the landlord. Really? But, you know, we are going to be on a road trip. I'm sure you could just pop a squat out back, you know? Oh, um, yeah, great. <laughs> it's pretty private back there. I mean, there is a neighbor on the second floor that I'm pretty sure was drifting off while I was sunbathing the other day, but, you know. Are you serious? No, I mean, it's fine. Like, I'm sure he's not there now. Um, OK. This is. Embarrassing, but uh, it's fine, man. Just, you know, I'll be here waiting. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, we're gonna have a great time, I promise. You and Kyle are both in the medical fields. You're a nurse, right? Uh, medical tech, but I'm going for my RN. Maybe a nurse practitioner, I'm not really sure yet. Yeah, Kyle says they have some really good programs at IS. Listen, Jessica, don't feel like you have to make bullshit small talk with me, okay? You can relax. It's gonna be a long trip, and I'm sure we'll get to know each other. Probably even more than you and Kyle do by the time we get to New York. So how long have you been dating my brother? Almost a month. Get the fuck out. I thought it was way longer than that, I mean, the way he talks about you. Yeah, a month this weekend, actually. But we were talking online for a long time before that, so we really felt like we got to know each other really well before we, you know, actually met face to face. No, yeah, I get it. I love it for a side thing. So 20th century. Shakespearean, even. What century is that? What, like, 16th? Um, yeah, something like that. So, 16th century. <laughs> it's it's cool, though. I mean, when you know, you know. You meet the right person, it just kind of hits you in the guts, you know? I mean, I got worried there for a minute. You know, he was just banging bimbo after bimbo. I mean, you should have seen some of these bitches that were coming through. <laughs> Woof. Head east on Mulberry Road Northwest. In two miles, turn left onto Highway 53. In one mile, turn left onto oh, Highway 53. Fuck up. Highway 53. You know what, in fact... Get that fucking thing. I mean, I have this whole trip planned out anyway. We're gonna take back roads the whole way. I mean, who wants to look at the fucking interstate anyway? Uh, what what happens uh, if we get lost though? I don't you think it'd be better if we had that as a backup plan? Backup plan? 
A backup plan is for little bitches that need to call their daddy for every little thing that happens. I mean, come on, where's your sense of adventure? I want to get lost a couple times, hell. I mean, the whole point of this thing is to have an experience, right? Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll protect you, like you're my own little baby sister. What? You. Me what? You're just not quite what I expected, that's all. What were you expecting? Uh, I don't know. Kyle said you were... What? Kyle said it was what? Well, not exactly the spontaneous type. Kind of like super organized and together. A little overly so. I think anal is the word. So what, you think I don't have my shit together? Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't mean that. What, you think something's wrong with me? Well, I'm surprised I didn't realize you were so judgmental, Jessica. Wait, I don't, I, I'm not judging you. <laughs> no, 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 it's cool, it's cool. You think I'm, you think I'm fucking crazy, right? I'm crazy, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm crazy, you're crazy, we're all gonna go fucking crazy on this trip, because guess what, this is the crazy train and you can't get off now. I think I might have changed my mind. Take me back to the airport. <laughs> I'm gonna run and grab a tea, you want something? Grab me a few more energy drinks. Seriously? Better take it easy with those things. You going for some kind of record or something? Hey, I gotta feed the monster in this bitch. Oh, sorry. The double security locks, the uh, previous owner had them installed. I think her mom had Alzheimer's or epilepsy or something. What's up? My phone. I thought I left it in here. Did you see it? No. Did you check your purse? Well, yes, I checked my fucking purse. What do you think? It's not in there. Okay, just chill. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Did you check under the seat? Yeah, and it's not in between the seats either. Uh, maybe I left it inside. Hey, asshole, watch where you're going! Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Hey, look, there are worse things than losing your phone, right? Come on, let's go. I can't believe I lost my phone. I've never done that before. <laughs> You've never lost your phone? Man, I've broken or lost at least like six of them by now. You seriously have never lost your phone before? Well, once at a party in high school. Or it was stolen. I mean, I was so wasted I wouldn't have known either way. The lightweight that I am. You're a lightweight? Man, I would have pegged you for a hardcore party girl for sure. Gosh, I haven't even talked to Kyle since I landed. Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah, let's fix that. Hold on. Voicemail. Hey, big bro. This is your adorable little sister and possibly even more adorable girlfriend just calling you from the road. I can see why you fell for her. She's delicious. Anyway, I'm sure you're stitching up some drunk's lacerated ass or calming down some overprotected parents whose kid has a head cold. But uh, we just want to let you know that everything's cool. 
other than the fact that your airhead girlfriend lost her phone. I mean, I'm sure we'll find it. Don't worry about it. But anyway, until then, just uh, give me a call back on my phone, and we will see you in a few days. All right, bye, bro. We love you. Bye. I hope it wasn't presumptuous of me to say that you love him. No, I tell him that all the time. I'm his girlfriend. I mean, it wasn't so cool calling me an airhead, though. I was kidding. I mean, obviously you're not an airhead. You're like some smart college girl, right? Oh, come on, you are. What's your major? Well, I haven't declared, but I'm leaning towards psychology. Psychology, see? How smart do you have to be to study Freud and shit? I didn't mean it. You don't have to be so sensitive. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? I am. We're friends? Are you gonna sit and sulk the whole time or are you gonna like give me a smile? Come on. I thought we already figured this whole thing out. Yeah, okay. Great, good. I thought I lost you there for a minute. <laughs> sorry. Jeez. Let me see if you can get something on that shit box. Y'all don't forget the swap meet and antique auction is going on this Saturday. It's the event of the season, so don't snooze and lose on it. Go out and get yourself some. Here's a little number from Flappy Mitchell's Flatbed Records <laughs> right here for you. Uh... You right? I mean, how fast is the speed limit here? Look, it's no big deal. It's okay. License, registration, and insurance, please. Sure. Why did you not immediately pull over at the sound of my siren? Uh, I was just a bit confused. I'm not from here. Did I have a tail light out or something? I'll ask the questions if you don't mind, miss. Can you provide your license, registration, and insurance, please? Sure. It was a long time ago. I used to experiment with different hair colors. Don't you? Registration. I think it's in the glove compartment. Can you check? Yeah. Slowly. Hands where I can see them. Um. I don't 
Let's see, are you sure it's in here? Yeah, I think so. Officer, are you gonna tell us why you pulled us over? You were traveling at an excessive speed. This is a 45 mile per hour zone. You were going 70, 71 to be exact. 45, it's 60 down this whole highway. I didn't see a sign. There is a sign clearly marked three quarters of a mile back. What, tucked behind a rock or painted on a pig? Miss, shut the glove compartment, step out of the vehicle. What? Step out of the vehicle, both of you, now. Take a seat right down there between the cars. Trying to look up our shorts or something? Miss, if you don't shut up, I will place you under arrest. Am I gonna have to go to court for this? You were traveling at 26 miles per hour over the speed limit. You'll be expected back here for court on the assigned date. No, no, please, no. I'm on my way to New York. I'm moving there to, to be with my brother. Our mom died just very recently. This is his girlfriend, and she's helping me make the drive. And please, officer, please, you can't make me come back here. I can't. You have to understand I can't come back here. Miss, there's no need to get upset. <laughs> please, officer, please, I can't come back. Shit heel. What? He did let us go. He didn't have to. Yeah, but he's just gonna unleash on the next unsuspecting motherfucker. He'll just climb right back up in his little deer blind and just pick him off one by one. Well, no, I think he really felt for you. Yeah, and I think he really felt something for you in his pants. No, I mean it. When you started crying, I could see it in his eyes. His face just turned. He really got to the poor guy. You just want to believe the best about everybody, don't you? Everything's just fucking unicorns and rainbows for you. Hey, Raven. What? I can't imagine what you're going through, I know. But I'm really sorry about your mom. Thanks. Look, I'm sorry about, about what I said about the unicorns and rainbows thing. I, I don't know that about you. It's okay. But I bet you did have them on your lunchbox, your backpack. My book bag, yeah. And the sunflowers. Oh, the sunflowers. How could I forget the sunflowers? Pretty hard. Yeah, thanks for uh, taking over. You like the car? Just drives nice, huh? Yeah, it does. Real smooth for a small sedan. I like it. I've done so much in this car. I feel like. I don't know. It's just like it becomes part of you, you know? It's a lot of crazy shit. <laughs> I wouldn't have anything to do with boys, would it? It does kind of have a small back seat. I can't lie and say that I haven't utilized it from time to time. But no, I wasn't talking about boys. But you seem to know quite a bit about spending some time in the back seat with a few boys. What? No. I'm a one guy kind of girl. I don't give it up easy. Kyle is quite the catch, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Kyle's the best. Yeah, my brother's great. It's one in a million. You 
bored? You look bored. No, no, I'm good. I'm just taking it all in. It's really pretty down here. You know, I thought I would be bored, but I'm really not. Okay, so you're bored shitless. <laughs> Why don't we play an old-fashioned driving game? A driving game? What, you mean like the ones you play with your family on long trips as a kid? Fighting with your brother and sister the whole way and bad body odor all around? Those kind of games? Yeah, those kind of games. It could be fun. Good way to kill the time. I didn't think you were the driving game type. I'm just full of surprises. Just wait and see. <laughs> Come on, pick one. Um, oh god, okay. How about I Spy? I Spy? Yeah, I Spy, you know. I Spy with my little eye, and then you have to give a hint about something that you see, and the other person guesses what it is. What? Really, I Spy is like the oldest driving game ever. I'm pretty sure the settlers used to play it. I Spy with my little eye. Hmm. Something tall and brown and leafy. Oh, no, wait, here, I've got another one for you. I spy with my little eye something dead, bloody, and covered in maggots and splattered all over the road. Okay, I don't know. Look, we can't play license plates. That would kind of be hard. You ever played Hot Seat? Hot Seat? Yeah. It's fun, it's like uh, truth or dare, but more intense, more rapid fire. I don't know, we're not 13. Come on, it's a great way to get to know each other, get a glimpse into each other's character. Mm. I mean, come on, you're studying psychology, this should be right up your alley. I mean, unless, you know, you have something to hide. I mean, I, I thought that, you know, we were friends here, we didn't have anything to hide from each other. Okay, how do we play? All right, one person is in the hot seat and the other person gets to ask five questions. Anything you want. It can be as mundane as, I don't know, what was your first pet to something really, really personal. And the only thing is that you have to answer the question or you get a little smack. What do you mean a smack? Just like a little smack. No. Oh, come on, it's like a love tap. Ugh, I'll even go first. Ask me anything you want. What's your heart's desire? Shoot. Mm. I don't know, give me an example. Of... Uh, did you ever cheat on a test in high school? Oh, okay, so we're doing like gloves off kind of stuff? Well, yeah, obviously gloves off, especially when it comes to the smacking. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. You're in the hot seat? Yes. Question one, shoot. Okay. What was your first pet? Very imaginative. <laughs> uh, it was a parakeet named Jemima. Next question. Um, what was the worst job you've ever had? You're really cutting me deep here, Jessica. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm building up. All right, um... Worst job I've ever had. Picking up trash on the side of the road. That was a job? Think about it more like a volunteer opportunity. It was only one afternoon, but it felt like forever. You wouldn't believe some of the shit that people throw out of their car windows. I mean, half-eaten bags of fast food, used condoms. It was disgusting, I even found a dead bird. Okay, ew, I've heard enough. No more. Wait. Was it Jemima? No, it wasn't Jemima. Now ask the next goddamn question. Come on. Okay. Mm, how old were you when you had your first kiss? Nine. Nine? Yeah, nine. Okay. Uh... Next question. Have you ever wished you could be somebody else? Why would I want to be somebody else? What? Seriously? You never wished you could ever be anybody else, even for a day? No. Why would I? What? Okay, that's it. I'm giving you a smack. I thought you had to answer honestly or else you get a smack. You're getting one. Come on, every little girl dreams of being somebody else. Fine, fine. 
Oprah. You are full of it. Oh my gosh, Oprah? What? Okay, I'll let it slide this time. Last question. That's okay. Fine. Okay, last question. Last question in the hot seat. The big one. You ready? I'm just dying of anticipation. Okay. Who was the greatest love of your life? I'm not, I'm not gonna answer that. No, actually, rather I, I choose not to answer that. It's my prerogative. Come on, spill it. What do I care? No, just give me a smack. Come on. I don't want to smack you. Jessica, those are the rules. Smack me. I said I'm not going to smack you. Jessica, just shut up and fucking smack me. Come on. Okay. You're kidding, right? What? No. What do you want? Are you, you going to slap me for real or are you just going to give me like that little pussy bullshit again? Come on. Fine. Ooh, she's got a little fire in her. Thank God, I was starting to worry. Sorry you asked for it. There you go, that's the game. You ready? Your turn. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're asking Jessica her first question here. Did you vote in the last election? Oh, sorry, couldn't quite hear you. Uh, we're gonna need a verbal answer. What? No, okay, no I didn't. Not the last <laughs> one. Wow. All right. I'm. I feel so enlightened now. I mean, now I know why the world has gone to shit. You know, you're not participating. That's Stop. great. Listen, I get it. I respect that you are a woman of conviction, but you know, just don't really care what happens to the world. I do too. All right, fine. Um, what was the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you as a kid? I tooted. So, did you say you tooted? Yeah, I tooted. I farted in class. That's it? What? No, this was no ordinary fart. I was in the third grade, and I was leaning up against my desk with my butt in the air, you know? And somebody said something funny, and it just bursted out of me. It sounded like a pop gun. And then all the kids stared at me and started laughing, including the teacher, Mrs. Folk. I must have turned a hundred shades of red. I mean, I guess that's pretty bad for a third grader. Yeah. Okay, third question. Are you going to ask her what? Um, how many guys have you slept with? More or less than six? Less! Definitely less. All right, we've got a virtuous one here. I mean, I'll bet politically lazy, but virtuous. All right, what's your favorite position with my brother Kyle? What? 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 No. No, I'm not telling you that. You have to answer. No. Those are the rules, Jessica. Give me your arm. Ow. What the fuck? Sorry, I didn't realize it hit you that hard. You okay? Fine. I have one more question, and then you're done. Have you ever wanted to kill somebody? Yeah. You right about now. <laughs> See, I told you you'd love this game. No, I definitely did not. I never want to play it again. Oh, come on, you love it. No, it was terrible. The worst. Did I win? It's not about winning. Oh. Jesus. Such an overachiever.
This one's on me. Oh, you don't have to do that. No, 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 come on, I got this. Okay, thanks. Have a nice day. Hey there. Oh, uh, hi, uh, can I help you? I'm sure as hell hope you can. You guys have slaw on your burgers? Slaw? Uh, yeah, sure. Slaw, onions, chili cheese, if you want it. All right, well, what do you call a burger with everything on it? Oh, uh, all the way. All the way, huh? Yeah. All right, well, we will have two Jimbo burgers all the way. How do you want yours cooked? A medium, not undercooked, please. And I would like mine rare, bloody and all the way. Will that, <clears throat> will that be all? No, we would also like two Jimbo fries, Jumbo size. Okay, that's uh, two Jimbo burgers all the way and uh, two Jumbo Jimbo fries? Yep, we're in a hurry. <laughs> you having fun with this poor kid? Yeah, come on, it's fun. Mm. So Kyla hasn't called back yet to check your messages? Yeah, nothing, sorry, but we can try them again later. I don't think I've ever felt heat like this. Uh, here you go. Where's the sweet tea? Uh, pardon? I mean, how do you expect me to eat all of this delicious food without sweet tea? Well, well you, you, you didn't order no sweet tea. You really think that I would order all this food and not order something to wash it down with? Well, well I don't, I don't know, miss. But it's okay. Well, go run back and get me my sweet tea. Yes, ma'am, miss, uh, right away. What? Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Go back. No fucking way. Oh, come on. Just shut the fuck up. Eat your Jimbo fries. <laughs> You're out of your goddamn mind. What's wrong with you? You sure you're related to Kyle? I never could have done this alone. This white line fever, that's what truckers call it. Road hypnosis. Just, just kind of get lost in the road. Your mind just wanders, you know? And the next thing you know, you're just wrapped around a tree or <laughs> a power line, and they're toe tagging you and send you off to the morgue. Anyway, just thanks for coming in. It really means a lot. No, it's okay. I mean, I have the time, and I know you did the same thing for me. Yeah, you know I would. I owe you a big one, sis. <laughs> oh, bingo, motel. Thank God, what I wouldn't give a warm bath right now. Ooh, look, right across the street. Looks like some place we can get a drink at. Do you think they have anything edible? <laughs> Probably not, but definitely drinkable. Experienced. Stop it. 
<laughs> oh, ew, stop it. You know, I never thought I'd be caught dead in a dive like this. Oh, no? No, like, honestly, <laughs> I don't even know the name of this place or this town. <laughs> Where are we? What is it called? We, um... We are in a place where they serve drinks. <laughs> and, and... In the town. <laughs> in the town of the drinks. Oh my god, this beer tastes so good. I can't even... I know. So we have that. Excuse me, sir, can we please... Um, I need another round of shots. Thank you. Sure thing, ladies. Wait, no, 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 I better not. Yeah, come on, last one. Or two. Right, I can't. Yeah, yes, you can. You're not a lightweight anymore, that's what you said. Come on. I'm gonna hang with the, the big dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh. Babe, wait. You promised we have to call Kyle. Kyle. Who? What was that? We have well, to who we got? We have to call <laughs> Kyle when we get back to the room, okay? Okay, I promise. We'll call Kyle. Do you promise I'm missing I promise. so much? I swear, I swear, I promise. Don't you miss him? I'm sick of it. <laughs> You're such a B word. <laughs> okay. We're gonna take kids or No, wait, hold on. Finish. This? Yep, finish your beer. You already finished. Yeah, I did, because I'm not I know how to drink. You need to show me that you know how to drink. I told you I'm on my way. Okay, drink it. Don't spill it. You gotta get it in your mouth. Okay, ready? Begin. Ready? 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 Go. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> You're a pro champion, dude. <laughs> I did it. Okay, ready? Okay. Shots. <laughs> yeah, what am I to do? What is this? Chest mask. Okay. Um, to Kyle, best brother in the whole world. Best boyfriend, okay. future okay. husband. Oh my God, okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Cheers to you. Mm -mm. You can do it. <laughs> okay, one more. Come on, you're not a little girl anymore. Okay. What are we, what are we toasting to? Brave, I can. Yes, you can. Be brave. Okay. Ready? Okay, ready. To, what are we, what are we choosing to? Don't, don't laugh at me. Okay. Okay. To best friends. <laughs> Wait. And future sisters and wives. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Right though? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Yay! Shots! <laughs> See, you are all woman now, my friend. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah. All woman. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> am I like really fucked up woman? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm dancing. I love this song. song. We don't let me hear it. So psychic. Alexia. Come on, he's kind of cute and like a dipstick backwards kind of way. Oh my god. 
You're kidding me. Come on, looks can be deceiving. I bet you his dad owns some, I don't know, local textile company. I bet you he's worth a fortune. What are you talking about? Jesus. I'll prove it to you. What? Hi, boys. Someone's Hey there. So, what you think? Excuse me? About how the other half lives. Uh, sorry, I don't, I don't know what you mean. You're a New York girl, right? That's what your friend was telling us. Said you're a New York City girl, want to come down here and see how the other half lives. That's why you came down. You mind if I sit down? No. I mean, yes, yes. Thanks. Ricky, give me another beer. Please. So you're Jessica, right? I'm Buddy. That's Levi. Pleased to meet you. You need you another beer? No, no, I think so, good. <clears throat> Is that really why you came all the way down here? I don't know if I buy that. Uh, <laughs> actually, I'm with my friend. My boyfriend's sister move. I mean, move her car up there. She's moving. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You don't need to know this. I don't even know you. Well, <clears throat> uh, it's no call to be rude about it. I was just trying to be welcoming. Maybe you think you're too good to talk to me. Your friend said otherwise, but maybe you do. I never said I was too good to talk to you. I, I never said that. Well, good. It's more like it. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean that either. Um, excuse me. I have to go. I have to use the uh... ladies' room. You want to powder your nose. You're a New York City girl, aren't you? <sighs> Ricky, where's my goddamn beer? Lazy son, bitch. Taking those asses, ladies. The party ain't over yet, is it? Oh, it doesn't have to be. Do you want it to be? Oh, hell no. Well, you two gentlemen, you just wait right here. I have something real special I want to show you. Yeah. No peeking now. What you got in there? <laughs> I was thinking we could all just Ooh. have a little fun. Hold on. Fuck you, crazy bitch. That shit ain't even loaded. You want to test that theory? No. Uh, no, it's cool. We just had the wrong idea. Yeah, you bet your chicken looking ass you did. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna stab me? I guarantee you I'll shoot your dick off before you get close. Put it away. Put that shit away. Yeah, listen to your friend. Now you assholes, listen up. I got the night manager watching my car all night. If either of you show your faces here again, I will shoot your dicks off so fast you won't even be able to blink. Am I clear? Yeah. Yeah, listen. Fuck it. Yeah, that's right. We Fuck don't. It. Yeah. Go on. Get the fuck out.
Yeah, fuck you too, motherfucker. <laughs> you see him with that little pussy ass knife? Fucking hell. You coming? Feel better? <laughs> Did that scare you? Did it scare me? I think I left a huge puddle back in that parking lot. I'm sorry, man. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? What if those guys come back? I mean, you didn't really say anything to the motel manager. Yeah, but they don't know that. Plus, if they do, they'll be sorry. Let's call Kyle, remember? I already tried him, no answer. When I was in the shower, why would you do that? Well, come back. No answer, sorry. M let me try. I just told you there was no answer. Well, just let me. No. Give it. Come on, what's the point? Raven, stop. I told you that there was no answer. I want to talk to Kyle. Please. please. Just give it to me. Are you kidding here? No. Come on, please let me call No. Him. Please. Okay, go for it. <clears throat> uh, that's weird. It's not going to his voicemail. Or well, maybe you hit a different number on the keypad, it happens. This is Kyle Richards. Sorry I can't take your call right now. If you know me, you know I'm busy saving and preserving life. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Hi baby, it's me. I guess you're working. Or I know you're working or else you would have picked up or I would be waking you up, which would be so rude with you working so hard. Anyway, everything's going fine, for the most part. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> I just wanted to hear your voice. I miss you. I love you. Bye. Like I said, no answer. So I got his voicemail. Do you have his number in there twice? Is one of them old? I don't know, maybe you just hit the wrong button. Supervisor, and get detectives out here. Why did you do that last night? What? You know what? Save our asses? Get that guy to hit on me. Who does something like that? We were drunk. I was just having a little fun. 
Is that what it was? You were having fun? No. It... You want me to be honest? Yeah, I do. I do. I want you to be honest. I was testing you. Testing me? Testing what? I wanted to see if you were worthy of my brother. See if you really deserved him. I wanted to see what you would do when some guy really wants you. <laughs> I mean, really wants you. I'm gonna have to make sure you're not some dumb slut who gets drunk and gives it up to the first guy that tells her she's pretty, who's living in some bullshit delusion that if she fucks some guy that he actually cares about her. If you want me to be honest, that's what I wanted to know. Don't worry, you passed. Now let's get the fuck out of here because I'm famished. I'm gonna get some biscuits and gravy. You know, the kind of food that really sticks to your ribs. It's pretty good, huh? He's out of the way Podunk Towns have the best fucking food. Better than sex. It can definitely last longer, at least. Is it good enough to pay for? We're gonna dine and dash again. Oh, look at you. So funny. Well, your sense of humor is definitely improving. I gotta give you that one. <laughs> I gotta piss. I'll be right back. Just a little game we play. Stupid girl stuff, you know? You're not eating off the floor now, are you? I mean, this place is good and everything. Uh, no. Good luck. Thought we could use it. You ready to go? Yeah, sure, whenever you are. I got this. Oh, thanks, how sweet. I'll meet you in the car. You got any ID? I think I'm gonna go lie down in the back. Why don't you just put your seat back? But no, it's too bad if we got cans. You wanna watch my stuff back there? Excuse me. Do you know where Highway 301 is? The 301 North, I, I, I think it's around here someplace. Do you know where that is? I'm sorry, I don't know where no Highway 301 is. So you live around here and you have no idea where Highway 301 is? I don't know what you want me to say. I don't want you to say anything. You know what I want you to do? I want you to go home and fuck your mother some more, you fucking hick.
You done sleeping? Can you take over for a while? All right, Scoop. <laughs> Go on. Okay. You okay? You seem tense. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think I got a kink in my neck or something from lying in back. <laughs> See, I told you not to do that. Just relax. Oh, man, I can feel it. See, we can just get all that tension right out of there. You know, I forgot to tell you, I have great news. I found your phone. You must have been in the restroom or something. I don't know where I found it. But... The funny thing is that I put it in my purse. And when I went to give it to you, it wasn't there. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> I thought it was really funny. <laughs> you want to know what I think is really fucking hilarious, though? That you are supposed to be the smart girl psychology major. But it seems like I can read you a whole lot better than you can read me. You know, your poker face is for shit, right? Oh, no, no, don't even think about it. See, then you'd fuck up that pretty little face of yours. And then you'd fuck up my car. And then where would we be, right? So what now? Well. We have two options. You want to go and see Kyle, right? Make it back to New York? I was thinking that we could all get together and have a nice little chat. You know, like mature adults. Like how grown-ups do. So there's that or there's the other option, but I really don't think that you're going to like that one. We still have a long ways to go. What, are we going to play hot seats some more? <laughs> wow. You got a set of balls on you, girl. Okay, fine. How about this? You can ask me any question you like. Go ahead, shoot. What did you do? What did you do to Kyle's sister? Oh, I don't think that you want to know about that. All the gory details. I wouldn't want to offend your delicate sensibilities. Trust me. Who are you then? Who are you really, Jade? How do you know my name? I asked you a fucking question! How the fuck do you know my name? Where did you get this? In between the seats. You must have dropped it. I must have. Silly me. I'm always losing things. You know, I... I always hated this picture. But Kaya loved it. He said I was the most beautiful woman in the entire world. Tell me all the time while he was fucking me, how much he loved me. I knew him long before you did, sweetie pie. I mean, how do you think we met? shoot guns, Jessica? I, I never really liked it before. But I went to the firing range and popped off a couple shots, and I have to say, it's pretty easy. Not my favorite way to kill people, though. 
It's just too fast, you know? It's just bang and then you're dead. I'd much prefer to really get to know somebody, you know? Find out every little thing about them, you know? Just really get to know them from the inside out. <laughs> So, Jess, big question. Do you like our little game? I feel like we're really getting to know each other now. Don't you think? You know all about me. I already know everything about you, though. I've known girls like you my entire life. The pretty girls, the smart ones who, you know, everything was just handed to you. Adored by daddy. And all the boys just come running as soon as you bat your little fucking eyelashes. I mean, basically like they're handing you their dicks on a platter. It's incredible though, really. Ooh, what do you need, honey? Can we do anything for you? Oh, no, no. Don't bother yourself. I'll get it. Oh, here, honey, let me wipe your ass for you. Sound familiar? <laughs> Am I on the right track? No. What was that I couldn't hear? No, you're fucking not! You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Adored by daddy? Yeah, until he died when I was 10. And let's just say mom couldn't find a suitable replacement. There were men around, there were plenty of men. So don't sit there and tell me I had it easy. I mean, you can do anything you want. You have the fucking gun, but don't think for a minute you know anything about me. You're right, Jess. I do have the gun. Which means that we're gonna play by my rules, okay? So you can sit there all you want and tell me about your sad stories about how mommy was a whore and daddy died, but the truth is I don't really give a shit. Don't think about getting brave on me, sweetie. As much as I'd like to tear you open, I'll shoot you so fast you won't know what hit you. Then you can't go home to Kyle. Can't have that little chat like grown-ups now, can we? So you're gonna be a good girl and listen to everything I have to say. Got it? I wanna hear you say that you understand. I understand. That's a good girl. Stop the car. I said stop the fucking car! Now this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let him in. And if you try anything, or I hear a word out of you, I'll shoot that tight little pussy of yours off, okay? Get in. Let's go. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you are angels, both of you. You wouldn't believe the luck I'm having today. You wouldn't believe it. It's like somebody put a voodoo curse on me or something. That bad? It couldn't be worse. What, are you late for the prom? Oh, my buddy's wedding. I'm the best man. Well, it looks like you don't have the best car. <laughs> Tell me about it. Anyway, my buddy two days ago tells me he's getting married. Two days and he wants me to be his best man. So where is the blessed occasion? Hartford. I knew my transmission was on the fritz. One wrong turn and then boom, I'm stuck out in the middle of nowhere. On top of that, I'm in such a hurry I forget my freaking phone charger. Now my car is dead. My phone is dead. And I am stuck in the middle of nowhere. With people zooming by me laughing their asses off at me. Can you believe that? It definitely hasn't been your day. Listen, I just need to get to the next town, all right? Somewhere where I can rent a car, or somewhere where I can at least get a cab to a place where I can rent one. Thank God there are still two decent people in the world like you two. This is all pretty out of the, all of a sudden, huh? Just caught in the middle of everything? Yeah, yeah, I'm caught in the middle, all right. Or the ass end, I don't even know which. So how long did this friend of yours know this girl? Not long, a few months, maybe? He met her on a cruise. You know, it's so funny. 
we were just talking about a friend of ours who just shacked up with this guy out of nowhere, weren't we? Yeah, apparently he's all goo goo gaga for her, you know, madly in love, the whole deal. And we just kept telling her, what a stupid bitch you are to fall for a guy. I mean, she doesn't even know the guy, right? How can you get to know somebody like that so quickly? You can't. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I... So we're like, you stupid little cunt. You're gonna get hurt. Like, I'm talking full-on devastated, your ass will never be the same again hurt. And you're gonna deserve it. I mean, whatever happens to you, you're gonna deserve it. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're being a little hard on your friend. <laughs> so, you guys from Georgia? I saw the plates when I was getting in. You guys moving? Where you headed to? Stop the car. What? I said stop the car! Get out. Don't move. Get out. You made me kill the best man. Oh, come on, not in the car. I have to understand what I'm doing. I'm doing this for us. I'm doing it so it can go back to the way it was. No, you don't understand. She's the one that did this. She poisoned your mind against me. I know it was her. She did all of this to us, to me, and I have to fix it. I'm just trying to fix it. Don't you understand? I'm gonna fix it and everything's gonna be okay. She is the one that came between us. She is the one that did all of this. She is the one that killed Raven. It's her fault. I didn't want it to happen. I didn't want to have to do that, but she made me. She did all of this. <laughs> It's okay. I know that you don't right now, but you will. I love you. had to happen. You poisoned him against me. And he just doesn't understand right now, but he will. He's gonna see that pretty little face and that pretty little body of yours sliced open. <laughs> I'm not usually one for vengeance, Jess, but you take something that isn't yours, you need to be punished. So 
so I was thinking that we could play your favorite game. Hot seat. Except this time, if you don't answer one of my questions, I get to slice open a different body part. What do you think? First, I'll cut it right here and watch you bleed out a little bit. And then all across your stomach and your sides, I'll cut out your heart so you know what it feels like to have it ripped out and taken away from you. <laughs> I bet your insides are pretty, just like you. Now you stay here, I'll be right back. Oh, Jess, you're making this way too easy. You know I like to play with my food before I eat it. Shoot me? Fucking bitch! <laughs> Who do you think you are? Who the fuck do you think you are? You think no one else has felt pain? You think you're fucking special? What gives? Fine. Uh, just a little tired. Made some tea. Do you want any? Oh, no, I'm good. Just catching up on some reading. I'm probably going to bed soon. Okay, well, let us know if you need anything, okay? 
Hey, Jen. Thanks for letting me stay here a while. I really appreciate it. Do you want us to shut the door? Oh, no, I'm good. Life's so random, isn't it? I mean, people meet, relationships start, and then just suddenly end. And bad shit happens out of the fucking blue. It's like life's some cosmic joke. I mean, I'm telling you, God has got to be a woman because only a real bitch would do that shit to people's lives. Well, this isn't random. It's necessary. And you know that, and I know it. We both know it. Well, listen, maybe, you know, we'll get a chance to be best friends in another life. You never know. Cheers to that. Here's to another life. To another life.